Welcome, Hornets, to the November 29th episode of SHS Today. First up, Noah Greenleaf covers the annual Veterans Day event. Next, Cody Stedman brings us a new update from the SWWC program. And finally, our season premiere of Nerd News with Aiden Sutherland and Zach Dorr. All of this and more on this fall episode of SHS Today. Good to see you again, Hornets. Man, do we have some news to catch up on. I'm Faith Pearson. And I'm Cadence Waldrop. We hope you had a fantastic break. Now, let's get right into the show. The annual Celine Holiday Parade takes place on December 2nd in downtown Celine and looks to be an event you don't want to miss. The parade will start at 6.15 and will feature the Celine High School Marching Band, the Celine Fiddlers, our very own Miss Celine, and more. We hope to see you there. There is much to celebrate about the Celine community, and we try our best to cover it all. The veterans of Celine are a group that deserve that celebration. Noah Greenleaf gives us a closer look at Veterans Day here at the high school. Every year at Celine High School, students come together to learn about Veterans Day. It's important that students get to talk to veterans regardless of the era that they served or where they served or when they served and so that they get the opportunity to talk to the students so students can learn about what they had experienced in the military. It gives them a chance to ask questions that they may have had. I think that it's also a really great opportunity not just for the students but for the veterans uh, to come here and like be able to tell their stories and kind of connect with students and like how like society um, like is nowadays. This event is for both veterans and students alike. It allows the veterans to share their stories and the students to learn why Veterans Day is important in a more meaningful way. The students running this event work so hard every year to make this something unique and memorable for all. Well, it's nice that um, some of our kids have stepped up to, uh, to recognize our veterans and part of the discussion even this morning was how to get more veterans um, here to kind of share their stories and to celebrate them. So it's a chance to say things and talk about things we never talked about before. I do have a lot of you know, experience talking like, to veterans about like, their like, past stories and I, like, I guess I'm very interested in like, learning about those past experiences. If you missed the event this year, don't worry. Just make sure to tune in next year to visit the veterans that fought for our country. They have some very meaningful stories to tell. This has been Veterans Day at Celine. I'm Noah Greenleaf reporting for SHS Today. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Noah, for spotlighting our very own veterans here in Celine. Us at SHS Today want to thank the veterans of Celine for their service, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Another event happening at the high school is the SWWC Open House, which takes place tonight from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. There will be job opportunities and chances to learn about the career and technical classes offered through the South and West Washtenaw Consortium. Although these classes are only offered to juniors and seniors, we want to invite all underclassmen to come and get a look at opportunities they will have years to come. Speaking of the SWWC, Recently, Ms. Kara Stemmer was named the director of the South and West Washtenaw Consortium. Cody Stedman gives us an update. On June 28, 2023, Dr. Ryan Rowe officially announced he'd be leaving his position as the SWWC director. However, in July, Dr. Stephen Lotch made a special announcement at a Board of Education meeting. And as a result, we have been able to interview and hire Kara Stemmer as the new director of the Southwest Washington Consortium. With this new appointment, who is Ms. Stemmer and what is her background here at Celine High School? So I taught marketing for about 10 years, 11 years actually, and then uh, many people knew Dr. Rowe as the consortium director. And when I found out he was leaving, um, there was an opportunity for someone to step into the role and stay here at Celine. It was really important for me, so I applied for the position. Um, it was posted, I applied, I interviewed, and I was selected as the next director. With Ms. Maylou taking over the marketing position, what is Ms. Stemmer doing now as the new director? 
I mean, so far this year, I'm establishing some routines. I'm getting to know uh, more about the teachers in the classrooms and, and what their programs look like. And then we have been actively planning for what I refer to as the recruiting trail. So starting now in November, we will start visiting all of the six districts, talking to the 10th graders, introducing our programs. With this new opportunity in hand, Ms. Stammer has shown that she is ready to lead, coordinate, and direct the South and West Washtenaw Consortium to new heights. Reporting for SHS Today, I'm Cody Stedman. Back to you in the studio. It's great to see how our new SWWC director is handling her position. I personally can't wait to see what she does in years to come. As the larger Saline community continues growing and changing, the smaller communities within Saline are also doing exciting things. Today is the last day you can audition for the SHS Drama Club's winter musical, Beauty and the Beast. Auditions will be held in the black box today from 3 to 6. The auditions will include a singing portion, cold reading scripts, and improv. Break a leg to anyone auditioning. And if you aren't planning on auditioning, you can still support by watching the show in March. More info about tickets coming soon. And if musicals aren't your thing, there are other ways to experience the theater. One way being the movie theater. I personally love sneaking, I mean buying, <laughs> snacks and enjoying any genre of movies. Zach Dorr and Aiden Sutherland give us a peek at what's to come in our season premiere of Nerd News. Take it away, Zach. Thanks, Faith. Welcome to the season premiere of Nerd News. I'm Zach Dorr. And I'm Aiden Sutherland. Let's get into the show. Night Swim, a new thriller based on a recent book, is coming to theaters on January 5th. Night Swim's teaser sparked quite some talk as it shows the potential to be a new horror hit. Sneak peek of the film shows the main character getting caught in a game of Marco Polo with the unseen monster lurking beneath the water. Marco. I'm curious to hear if anybody can handle the fear. But aside from pool monsters striking in the month of January, this holiday season, the favorited Cape Crusader is making a new appearance. Zach, you heard about this? That's right, Aiden. One of the best DC video game trilogies is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. The Batman Arkham Trilogy, including Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. This trilogy joins the Dark Knight as he fights all his infamous foes on the go, whether it's Joker... Welcome to the Madhouse, Batman! Scarecrow... I want you to know the fear that is coming. Or the Riddler. This fantastic trilogy can now go with you anywhere. But outside of our screens, there's a new King of the Monster coming to town. And I hear Aiden has born Japan's first IMAX release, right? Yeah, absolutely. On December 1st, Godzilla Minus One will be released worldwide. And as you said, Zach, it'll be the first IMAX release from Japan. And having already released there on November 3rd, with quite the positive reviews, a story about a vengeful atomic lizard destroying Japan is finally releasing worldwide on December 1st. I got my ticket. Do you? Minus one. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for you this week. This has been Nerd News. I'm Zach Dorr. And I'm Aiden Sutherland. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Zach and Aiden, for bringing Nerd News back to the show. Man, have we missed it. I personally won't be swimming anytime soon after watching that, but I'll be sure to grab my ticket when the movie comes out. Well, that's all the time we have this week. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Cadence Waldrop. And I'm Faith Pearson. Be sure to follow us at Celine Video on Instagram and YouTube for show updates and behind the scenes content. Tune in next week to get an inside look at the welding program, a club corner on the German club, and a story on the DEI initiatives at Celine High School. All this and more in the next episode of SHS Today. Have a great week, Hornets! Hornets.